Do you want to learn to silk screen? Well, that's great because it's so easy. Here's a few things you need to get started. Well, you need a screen frame and a trough that you spread emulsion on your screen with and mesh to put on your screen and something to put your print on the fabric with, staple gun and some ink of some kind, plus artwork. Whether it's a photograph or some crazy drawing you made, all this stuff comes in really handy. Anyways, let's just go in the studio. There really isn't much you need to start silk screening, and luckily the stuff's either really cheap, you've got it kicking around at home, you can borrow it off someone, or you can build it yourself. So the basics are a frame, a stapler, screen mesh, photo emulsion, a light table or some light source, printing ink, something that you're going to print, a squeegee or even a paint scraper to print with, and some kind of washout area for washing out your screen. And that's pretty well it. Firstly, you have to stretch a screen. And that means getting the mesh on the screen that you're going to use to print with. And you do that by stapling it on. And you staple it on as tight as you can. Because a nice tight screen prints better than one that's all wobbly. Next, you coat your screen with photo emulsion. Photo emulsion is this kind of magical substance that you put on your screen that allows the design you create to be kind of zapped onto your screen with light. Basically, when your emulsion is exposed to light, it won't wash off with water, so you're able to print with it. Next, you're going to design a print. This is the really fun part because there's so many ways you can design a print, especially when you're using photo emulsion. Because with that, you can use a photographic image, you can do a drawing you made, you can get some found image that you get from any place. You can use different typefaces and write something cool. You can cut something out, either of, out of cardboard or out of that really cool stuff, Ruby Lip. And don't forget, you can collage all these ideas together to make a print, make something really funky with a whole mix of different things. So get working on your print. And once you get started, you'll realize you have so many ideas you don't even think you'll ever stop. And now you're going to do what you've been waiting for. You're going to print. And remember, there's lots of different ways you can print. You can either print a one of image of what you made, either for a t-shirt or put it on canvas to make art for the wall. Or you can repeat the image that you did and just repeat it on a big piece of fabric. So you can cut clothes out of it or make bed sheets or a tablecloth. And don't forget, you can mix any color ink too. So you can print with black ink or mix some crazy color, pile all the colors together in different fun ways. So there's just so much you can do. That's what makes silk screening so much fun. Wasn't that easy? Hope that you see how much fun and easy silk screening can be. And this has been brought to you by the crazy girls of Peach Brazil. <music>